the modern traditional doctor and you should know that I'm not just the TCM doctor Alright, everybody, you should know that I'm still overseas now and uh, I'm just going to make a short video over here at the local, local supermarket okay, on say the topic of uh, blood nourishing foods that you can find at a supermarket Alright, so let's go! Okay. Hey, so here we are at the fruit section, alright? And uh, for fruit section, let me take a look at what is actually good. Okay, and I see the pomegranate, which is like this, alright? So for pomegranate, uh, it has the properties of being able to help with blood nourishment, alright? And um, yeah, for any, it's very good for women's health as well. So this is one fruit that can help with that. And then the next one, I see here is the longan. All right, for longan uh, in Chinese herbal shops, they actually sell it in a dried form. Okay, but um, for actually the fresh fruit section, it has the same ability of being able to help with blood nourishment. Okay. Okay, then let's proceed on to other sections. Okay, where I'm going to bring you to I think more of the nuts and fruit section. Nuts dried nuts and uh, dried fruit section okay so we can see here there's quite a lot of them and yes okay so this is the red date yes it can be found in supermarkets nowadays not just in Chinese herbal shops and this is especially good for uh, blood nourishment all right and together with the longan okay um, longan you can eat it fresh like just now what we see but uh, together with the dried one actually you can just have it um, stick in water the red dates and the longan and it makes a very nice drink especially for women for helping with um, post menstrual uh, recuperation all right it's very very good for blood nourishment and uh, wow there's actually quite a lot of things here now raisins is another one all right um some people they actually when they go on a certain kind of fasting actually they use uh, raisins to help them keep their energy level up so this is because it uh, has very good blood nourishing properties okay which actually yeah you can actually survive on that okay <laughs> all right and what do we have here okay we have the red bean so red bean yes definitely um, you cook it like a into a soup okay and it's going to help uh, yeah just uh, increasing the proteins in our body and also help with increasing the hemoglobin in the body so yes it's another food that is good for blood nourishment okay and let's go to other sections the vegetables. Let me see uh, if I can talk about anything here. Okay, let's just proceed on first. Okay. Okay, we are here at the soya section. All right, the soya section, and I see the miso paste. So actually there is many many different kinds of miso paste here and um, the I see that the red there's a kind of um, red miso that is on shelves nowadays and actually yes the red miso is it has a better uh, blood nourishing property alright than the normal miso okay yeah so you can actually use this just you know uh, take a tablespoon and just um, make into a drink or a soup and just drink it and I wonder if there is another ingredient here let me see okay they don't have it here but if you can find it in your supermarket um, it's called a kelp so it's another kind of seaweed all right um, that is actually uh, usually the ingredient that is added to miso so um, together with that, it makes the miso so that you are very familiar with. But actually, kelp has very good um, high iron properties. All right, so together with red miso, it's definitely a good concoction for blood nourishment. All right. Okay, let's just walk. Just <laughs> going to bring you to another section. Um, okay, we are at the canned food section. Um, and actually 
let me take a look eh? okay, let's see so we are at the organic section usually organic section there's a lot of um, very healthy and good foods okay and uh, let's see let's see where did I oh, okay now all kinds of sugars here Alright, so you can put the name. And um, I'm actually just going to focus on this called the molasses. Okay, this is in the sugary form, like powdery sugary form. Okay, but this molasses is actually what I recommend a lot to my patients who are like vegetarian and they just don't want to, you know, um, take meat products to help them with blood nourishment. So, molasses is actually a kind of uh, sugar. But uh, it's very good for blood nourishment because of its high uh, iron properties. Okay, and uh, I it's not like um, it's not going to cause you like sugar rush or anything. So this is the thing, the sacred thing for people who wants to get their blood nourished without having the sugar rush like that of brown sugars or honey. Okay, yeah. Okay, and for my carnivores and uh, omnivores, alright, salmon, okay, salmon is uh, another good one for fish products that is very good for blood nourishment, and uh, yes, we're going to move on, and uh, I should know, chicken liver, okay, I'm just going to take one up, yes, chicken liver is the one that will help with uh, blood nourishment, it's the thing. Okay, for blood nourishment. Okay, yes, and uh, and we have all here the red meat. Okay, yeah. So basically, what you can see from all this, um, the things that I bring you to, they have a common um thing. Okay, which is they are all red. All right, because that's the color of blood. So uh, yeah. So basically. All these foods that I introduce you at a supermarket, you can get them easily, and they are very good for blood nourishment. All right. Um, in terms of um, for people who easily feel tired or work late nights, usually uh, your blood is deficient, and ultimately, blood is the one that will produce tea or energy. So get yourself really, um, you know, nourished with blood. Okay, for your energy or this, and the foods that I introduce you are actually the ones that will 10x your blood and iron and hemoglobin inside you and also your energy ultimately all right so that's all for today okay watch out my instagram and my youtube for more information on empowerment tcm yoga metaphysics everything that will make your life better okay see you soon